inaugural lecture held in memory of the first Ugandan Inspector General of Police, Lieutenant Colonel Erunaya Wilson Uriema shone the spotlight on the man himself, as well as the record of post-colonial police officers. There was general consensus that despite trying to sanitize its image, boards of high handedness and poor remuneration have dogged the force. Where do you draw the line between serving the state or the, reg or the regime and the interests of particular individuals is to open the political space to de-escalate some of the pressures that are putting the police in bad light. Thanks. The colonial police was well trained, was smart, was well, well motivated, and they were never political. There were also concerns about the current streak that has seen the force militarized under the stewardship of the current Inspector General of Police, Kale Kaiwura, himself a four-star general. With a simple robot, they're using AK-47. So how do you expect the police to respond with the platoon? The image problem, the brutality, the militarization, these elements are there, there's no doubt. We cannot deny. But what are we doing about it to diminish or remove them completely from the work of police? The late Lieutenant Colonel Erunaya Wilson Uriema became the first Ugandan Inspector General of Police when he took over the mantle in 1964. My father was a very good man. He was not a tribalism, even religion. You know, I, I, I was really not believing that really the government of Uganda, especially in the police department, can take the initiative of reburying our own son, Erunayo Oriema. Lieutenant Colonel Oriema's remains will be reburied during a state function at his ancestral home in Porongo Sub County, Noya District, on Thursday. Moses Sakena, NTV. Thank you.